So right now, I'd like to welcome to the stage Allison Shapira. Thank you, thank you. Allison resides in Washington, D.C. She's a recovering opera singer, and her debut album is called Coming Home. So right now, she's going to play a song for that album, from that album, so thanks to Allison. Thank you, Gail. This is called All Along. So I left a great apartment on a quiet Cambridge street And I moved in with some good friends who had a room just for me And I bought a round trip ticket, all of Europe for me to see Packed my life into a suitcase, left Boston by the sea And everywhere I turned to, the answer was the same Forget about your worries, just get up on that plane there I was in an airport bar with my backpack and guitar saying this is who you are. All along I found myself searching for you, burning for you. And all along I told myself you would appear if only I'd stop my searching I'd find you here So I flew to Vienna Then down to Napoli And I stayed with some good friends Who had a room just for me Took a ferry to Makarska Where I floated in the sea And I played guitar in a crowded bar For all the world to see And everywhere turn to the answer was the same forget about your worries just get up on that stage there I was in a Croatian bar with my backpack and guitar saying this is who you are and all along I found myself searching for you burning for you and all along I told myself you would appear if only I'd stop my searching I'd find you here at the end of my journey I arrived in Paris and in the city of lights I had no friends who were waiting there for me but I walked the streets at midnight, brought my guitar with me And I made new friends and found the whole city just waiting there for me And everywhere I turned to, the answer was the same Your time here is over, just get up on that plane There I was in an airport bar With my backpack and guitar, saying this is who you are Long, I found myself searching for you, burning for you, and all along I told myself you would appear if only I'd stop my searching. On and on, I tell myself you will appear if only I'll stop my searching. I'll find you here. Thank you. Alison Shapira. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really beautiful. Thank you. So beautiful. Alison, tell us how this song came about. So in the summer of 2012, I quit my job up in Boston, moved everything I owned into storage, bought a travel guitar, and said, I'm going to Europe. I'll figure it out as I get, when I get back. I had never done more than an open mic at that point. I'd been playing the guitar for a year. And there I traveled around and started performing. I actually performed in four different, city, four different countries, four different cities. And I wrote that song on the steps of the Paris Opera House, where as an opera singer, I had always dreamed of performing. 
inside the opera house, not on the steps, but it's okay, it was close enough. That's how I wrote the song. Now, I mentioned earlier that you, in your bio, you immediately say you're a recovering opera singer, so mm -hmm. tell us about that. So, as, as young as I can remember, I wanted to be an opera singer, and I went to school for opera performance, but I left the music industry, I left the field of opera because I lost my passion for it. I didn't think I was good enough. I was told I wasn't good enough and I stopped singing for 10 years. And then a couple years ago, I picked up a guitar, started learning how to play, and realized I was never supposed to be a, an opera singer. I was a folk singer, just <laughs> using the wrong instrument. And, and so I think of myself as a recovering opera singer because opera is about the perfection of the art. And I don't, I don't believe in perfection. I believe in authenticity and passion, and I find folk music is about that authenticity and passion. And so I feel like I've liberated myself from the bonds of, of classical music, and I can just be myself as a folk singer. That's great, great, great story. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that you, in addition to songwriting and performing, you have your own company, mm -hmm. teaching public speaking and presentation skills. Yes. Tell us about that, Allison. So I've been teaching public speaking on the side for 10 years, but after my trip to Europe, I spent a lot of time thinking about who, I'd, who do I want to be, what do I want to do with my life, and instead of searching for some job to pay the rent, I decided to build my own company around the things that I love to do and what I believe in. So I moved to Washington, D.C., which is a town that likes to talk. <laughs> and started a company teaching public speaking, but using my own experience as a musician to help people find their voice and their courage to speak, whether they're speaking in public or speaking in an interview or anything that they're saying that's important to them. How can my journey as a musician, finding my own voice as a folk singer, how can that help them find their voice professionally or personally? And what has the response been like? Overwhelming, mm -hmm. overwhelmingly mm -hmm. positive. Uh, there are very few people who do this with a musical background, and, and DC is a town where people are creating the image they want others to see, whereas my message, whether it's through my music or my, my music or my teaching, is about being yourself and taking ownership of your right to be yourself. And so that's a message that's very well received there. Okay, now I have a different kind of question for you, Allison. i um, curious to know if there was somebody who you would choose to cover one of your songs, who might that be? Growing up, and, and until today, Joan Baez has been a major influence on my songwriting. Even when I was singing classical music and studying classical music, that's never what I sang in the shower. <laughs> what I sang in the shower was Diamonds and Rust. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the and songs it's the only on her song CD, that, and it's that, really beautiful. It's the only it's song I cover on my album, really and beautiful. so she's been a major influence. I'm looking for every, any way possible to connect with her and ask for her advice and mentorship. And I'm actually working on a, a, a Joan and Joni tribute concert with another singer-songwriter in the D.C. area named Kippen Martin. And so the two of us are working on that, on covers of, of Joan Baez and Joni Mitchell. That's very exciting. It's okay. very and exciting. And I certainly hear the influences when you're singing. So it's a great compliment a great to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> that's a great thing. Tell us how people can find out about you, what you're up to. So you can find out about me on my website, which is allisonfromboston.com. I bought the URL, the URL with two L's in Allison and one L, so people didn't have to spell my name correctly. Although, I, when I was traveling around Europe, everyone called me Alison from Boston. So <laughs> I, I used that name, although now that I'm in DC, I think I'm gonna have to switch to another website. But you can always find me at allisonfromboston.com. Okay, and I know you've done a TEDx talk. Mm -hmm. Just say a little bit about that. It what was that an amazing was opportunity. Like. Uh, last year I got to give a, a TEDx talk in the D.C. area on the subject of finding your voice based on my work with women around the world, helping them find their voice and their courage to speak. And I, I speak in the TEDx and I also sing in the TEDx. So it was the first time in my life that I incorporated music and speaking together. And I think it's just the beginning. I watched it. It's very good, and I recommend Thank you. You can find it on my website, Allison from Boston. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Allison, it's been a pleasure to hear you and chat with you, so thanks so much. Thank you so much okay. for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye -bye.